Hi everybody, Bill here from TurboDial. I'm going to talk about creating dashboard reports. If for your business tomorrow's sales depend upon today's phone calls, then measuring your results, understanding how many phone calls are being made and what the outcome of those calls is, will be very important. Whether it's just you and your business or whether you also have a team or maybe some uh, assistants making calls, you want to be measuring the results. So. To create dashboard reports, it's we're going to build these reports based upon reports that you create in the Infusionsoft Admin Reports section of your Infusionsoft account. It's the task note report in particular that all of our reports will be built on. You can build reports of f focused on one user, such as yourself, or all users, all of the calls made by everybody in your team. You can design a report to be for a specific date or for a date interval. You can have reports about the number of calls that are made and reports about the results of calls that are made. So we're going to go into this and we're going to build an example report. In this case, we're going to build a report that tells us the average duration of Bill's calls in the last 30 days that resulted in a sale. And we're going to put that number on our dashboard. So here's the Infusionsoft account and showing the dashboard right now there's several items about our calls on the dashboard uh, total calls numbers of calls with the where a message was left and in this case this is turbo dial left the message on their machine while the user went on and made their next calls on their list calls where they agreed to get a quote calls based upon having delivered a quote calls where they agreed to buy. So this is a sale in the terminology of this report. This is a sale and calls where they're not ready now and calls where they were not interested. Most of this, these categories was designated according to the call outcome that can be specified in your turbo dial panel using the call outcome selector. And these are of course are custom built by you in, in the custom field in your Infusionsoft account and they appear here for you to choose for every call. So if I save this note right now, uh, after having made a call to Alan Bradford and put some information here that they said he accepted our quote for $2,000 and wants to move forward this afternoon, and I'm going to say agreed to buy, and now I save that note. Now that's going to get recorded onto Alan Bradford's contact record. If I bring up my contact records and look at his contact records, I can actually see that here, and here it is. He uh, accepted our quote, and under the call data column, he agreed to buy, and notice that this call had a duration of 800 seconds. So this is just one example of a note that was left by TurboDial with regards to the outcome of a call. So now we're going to build a report, though, that accumulates across several calls. So back to our dashboard, we want to add a line item here for the average duration of the calls in the past 30 days that resulted in a sale. So to build that report, we're going to go to Admin Reports. I'm going to open that up in a new tab. I'm going to get a Task Note Report <clears throat> going here. I'm going to start over. And this is going to be a report. First of all, I want it to be a turbo dial colon call. That will focus this report in on notes on the contact records that are specific to turbo dial calls. Okay, and then under miscellaneous criteria, I want it to be a call that was associated with Bill, and I want it to have completion date sometime in the past 30 days. Okay, so that's going to get Bill's calls in the past 30 days, and then I want it to be a call where they agreed to buy. So under the custom field section for the call outcome, I want it to be agreed to buy. Now, when I bring that up, I want to also make sure that the duration is part of the data listed in the report, and I don't see it here, so I need to scroll down, and here it is down here. Bring it over, so now duration is going to be a part of this report when I bring it up. Let's search for that result. So here I have five calls, and the duration data is here for each of those calls. So I now have a call, I now have a report set up that will retrieve that data, number of calls for Bill, and their duration 
that resulted in a sale in the past 30 days. So I'm going to save that. Bill sale duration. I'm going to call it that. Save that report. I now have that report saved and ready to go. So back to my dashboard, I'm going to add another stat. So I've got a panel of Turbo call statistics that I've already created from previous reports I've generated. Let's add a new one. <clears throat> this is going to be a not a safe search. It's a saved report. All of our turbo dial reports are saved reports because they're on the task note report section of our account. We're going to do a average calculation. I can ignore those with no values, and in my case, I know they'll all have a value. Uh, it's going to be a administrative report, and it's going to be bill sale duration. That's that report that we just saved, and now I've got to tell it to look for the duration column. Custom field duration. So now I've got a field that's going to come onto the dashboard. It's going to be an average across the durations for the notes that were picked up by this report called the Bill Sale Duration Report. Let's give it a title. Average Duration of Success Calls. I'm going to save that. And now I can see it here. In the past 30 days, for the calls that resulted in a sale, those, those calls took about 642 seconds on average, which is a little bit over 10 and a half minutes. So now I've created a report and put it on the dashboard. All of these reports is based upon data that's automatically left behind when calls are made, along with the call outcome that I can choose and attach to any call that I've made so that it can be picked up by a report. Thanks, everybody. Happy phone calling.